Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're talking about Mary, the mother of Jesus, and last time we examined the evidence for the assumption of Mary. This time, we'll look at one of the arguments that are usually put forth against this teaching to see how strong it is. First, it's been suggested that the dogma of the Assumption was declared in an ambiguous way. It was first officially declared by Pope Pius XII in a papal bull called Munificentissimus Deus, which means the generous. The relevant portion of that document is this. By the authority of our Lord Jesus Christ, of the blessed apostles Peter and Paul, and by our own authority, we pronounce, declare, and define it to be a divinely revealed dogma, that the Immaculate Mother of God, the ever-Virgin Mary, having completed the course of her earthly life, was assumed body and soul into heavenly glory. Hence if any one, which God forbid, should dare willfully to deny or to call into doubt that which we have defined, let him know that he has fallen away completely from the divine and Catholic faith. Now, this doesn't sound ambiguous. In fact, it's pretty darn clear what's going on here. The Pope has made a pronouncement establishing a dogma which is binding on all Catholics to believe it. This doesn't happen often. So what exactly is so ambiguous? The typical reason why some people claim that this teaching is ambiguous is that they don't know the circumstances under which Mary was assumed. One example that I saw used was that there's no church teaching on whether Mary even died or not which Catholics have to believe. Furthermore, the death of Mary is referred to many times in The Generous, and yet Catholics aren't required to believe that Mary died. However, this objection to the Assumption dogma makes two major mistakes in its understanding of church teaching. First, dogmas of the Catholic faith are specific truth claims, which are declared as dogmas in isolation from other claims. Just as you can believe that Jesus will come again and not know anything about when, so you can believe that Mary was assumed into heaven without knowing anything about where, when, the circumstances, the number of witnesses, if any, or even whether she was dead or not. Secondly, and more importantly, however, this objection seems to assume that if any dogma is declared in a papal document, then everything said or referenced in that document must also be infallible, and that's false. Only the specific dogma declared by the document is infallible, not any of the circumstances surrounding or seeming to surround that dogma. In this case, for example, we see that Pope Pius cites the authority of Jesus and himself, among others, saying that he is pronouncing, declaring, and defining a dogma, and that you have to believe it to be a Catholic. This fulfills all the requirements for the pronouncing of a dogma. Papal authority, official pronouncement, and the insistence that this belief is required for all Catholics. None of this, however, is cited in defense of the view that Mary died. So the fact that the death of Mary is still an open question does nothing to harm the Catholic dogma of the Assumption of Mary, which is a separate question entirely. Next time, did Jesus ever claim that no one can be raised to heaven? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.